Hey y'all, this is Lindsay with Organically Designed where we clean, organize, and create. And today is another one of those creating days. And if you like videos like these, make sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave out of here so that you can be up on everything that we're doing over here with Organically Designed. Today, we're doing another savvy crafting session with Savannah. And we're going to be making what, Savannah? Borax crystals. So we're making borax crystals today. So let's get into what you're going to be needing. You're going to need, of course, the 20 mole team borax, a mixing bowl, a pot for boiling water, some jars. I especially advise ones with wider necks, pipe cleaners, some thread, pencils, scissors, and a tablespoon. The first step in making the borax crystals is making your shapes. So the pipe cleaners are the foundation for your crystals. Therefore, they are going to be what the borax crystals adhere to. So this was the fun part of getting creative and so I let Savannah take complete reign over this part and picking out what types of shapes she wanted to use. For the purple ones, she picked out a crown, so she's trying to kind of put it in here together. Um, she's, a, she's a perfectionist just like myself, so um, she's bending it and twisting it. We did find later on, and you'll see near the end, that whenever we did these larger wider shapes like this crown it was a little bit more difficult to pull back out of the jar um, so if you have a good wide neck jar the bigger shapes are great for otherwise if you're using like a standard mason jar um, or some smaller reused jars and I would highly suggest doing a more compact smaller shape with the red one, she did a twisty spiral one. So she's trying to get the spiral just right. And this one um, definitely did great going in and out of the jars. And here are Savannah's completed shapes. She did ended up doing two of the purple crowns and two red spirals. But here we're just showing you one of each. Our next step is going to be boiling water. We started out with three cups of water I highly suggest if you're doing two shapes to definitely do six cups of water. And if you're doubling that for our four shapes, that would definitely go for 10 to 12 cups of water. Savannah's going to remove the boiling water from the stove top and she's going to take it over to our mixing bowl. So we're going to pour in the hot water into the bowl and this is going to help the borax dissolve. For each cup of water, you're going to want to add three to four tablespoons of Borax. We had to play around with this a little bit, so I would suggest doing four tablespoons of Borax per cup of water. You're going to get a kind of like a waxy texture to the looking to the water. So if you've ever made homemade pudding, um, before it starts to thicken that kind of like thicker um, loose pudding if if that makes sense a 
and you're just going to stir the borax in the hot water until it dissolves. With the boiling water, it does not take long at all. And you're definitely going to want to have a clear consistency to the water. You don't want it cloudy. If it's cloudy, your crystals are going to be cloudy instead of a nice clear spark. And you see, I've already tied the thread to the pencils and have our shapes ready to be tied. Next, you're gonna pour the water. I highly suggest using a funnel into your jars. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be submerging the pipe cleaner tied to a piece of thread and the pencil is gonna hold it up so that it's not sticking to the sides or the bottom of the jar. This was a little difficult in the more shallow jar, so the deeper the jar, it was much easier. And you see our string got a little funky there trying to get it high enough, but whenever it starts to crystallize, it will harden to the bottom. So if it sticks to the bottom, it may pull some of the crystals off. And here's where we had to do another batch of water so that we get our last three shapes completely submerged into the borax water mixture. So this time we did a little bit more water in this one. So we totaled about, I think all together, about 11 cups of water for four shapes. And of course you can see we have varying sizes of jars just using what we had around the house. Again, I'm gonna have the recipe listed below in the description. So with all the little tips and tricks as we had many trials and errors with this. So be sure to look at that below and a couple of our other um, homemade things that we've done together on a Savvy Crafting Sessions. Again, you're going to want to make sure that you stir it until the water is clear and that you have a thicker consistency to your water where you're going to see those peaks rise as you stir it. So it's going to get like it has a little waxy coat on top. Again, we used four tablespoons of borax per one cup of hot water. It definitely was much easier to do when the water was boiling hot because when it was a little warmer, it stayed cloudier longer. This process was much faster when you taken it right off the stove. So now she's pouring the water into the cups so that we can get our little shapes put down into the jars. And we used a mechanical pencils to tie the thread to, which definitely helped a lot because as you could see on this next one, um, we needed to twist it a little bit and the clip on the mechanical, mechanical pencil definitely held it in place instead of unrolling like a normal pencil would. Then after you get your shapes in place, you're gonna leave them for 12 to 24 hours. I will say we checked at 12 and 24 and we ended up leaving ours on um, or in the jars for 36 hours and that by far did awesome. After you get your crystals to where you like it, like I said, we took ours out after 36 hours. We just put ours on some little paper plates. You can see here this one, the string came loose and they do stick a little bit to the bottom. You can see how cloudy the bottom is. That's actually all crystals on the bottom of those jars. So we're gonna put them on the plates. And this is what I was talking about um, using the wider neck jars if you are doing the larger shapes is we had to kind of play around with getting it out of the jar 
Um, again, this isn't going to hurt your skin or anything like that. This is stuff that is used in laundry detergent. We use it in our homemade laundry detergent. Um, if you're interested in things like that, you can check that out below and the other uses that we use around our home for our borax. I'll put that below with some of our other little homemade projects we've done. I have to say though that Savannah did such an awesome job with making her shapes and um, playing around and being so patient with playing around with the different um, measurements and things and temperatures of water to get it just right. So all you're going to have to do after this is you're just going to pat them dry, lightly pat them dry, kind of get some of that water off not too hard you don't want to knock any of your crystals that you work so hard to make off but just enough to kind of just help them dry out a little bit they do dry out very fast so we're just gonna tap 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 and dry them off After you've tapped them dry, you're just going to be cutting that threading off and that way you're just left with the crystal itself. I wanted to show you all, all the little crystals that were in the water. You can see how kind of foggy it looks. That's not actually the water being foggy. That is actual crystals little that are floating around that are stuck to the sides of the cups. You can really see it in some of these bigger jars here. Um, so that was really cool too. But here's our final product. Look how sparkly these are. I love how the purple ones turned out. Definitely all the shapes were so fun to make. So we got those nice clear crystals because our water was mixed nice and clear. Thank y'all so much for joining us on another savvy crafting session here at Organically Design. If you like what you saw, be sure to leave us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button before you leave if you like anything organizing, cleaning, and creating. As always, stay organically you and have an amazing day.